have here is an experiment which is looking at different soils' abilities to hold on to nutrients, plant nutrients, and also to stop soil from washing out of the field and into the field drains as well. The piece of equipment that we're going to be using here is a tetra pack. It's basically a, a, a milk carton. And what I've done with this is I've cut along the edge of the milk carton and folded that out. And what that provides us with is a, a funnel. And what I've done is I've also filled the tetra pack with a block of intact soil, as intact as possible, which I've cut out of the field that I wanted to test. Now, this is a really nifty piece of equipment because not only if we water rainwater onto this, not only can we collect the water that runs off the surface down this funnel, but we can also then fold that back and use this nozzle here to collect the water that has run through the soil, and that's mimicking what's coming out of the field drains. So the three different kinds of soil that I've collected are one which has come from permanent grassland, there's one over here which has got a crop in it, and there's one here which is bare soil. And we'll be looking at the amount of sediment that's coming off these fields, and we're also going to be looking at the amount of nitrate that comes off these fields. And what I've done is I've arranged them on a bench or on a table with a, a little slope going on and a bucket here to catch the water as it comes out, otherwise you'll make a mess on the floor. And what I can do is angle all of those funnels that we've created down into the bucket. So we've got um, a, a bit more equipment as well. I've got my rain, which is literally just a watering can full of water. I've got some collection pots for collecting the runoff and then also for collecting the through flow that will come out from the cap as well. And we've also got these. These are actually nitrate testing strips that you can buy from pet shops where they have um, fish tank supplies. And uh, these will actually test the nitrate in the water that's running off from the surface and for, through the, the soil as well. Now nitrate is a component of many fertilisers and so it might actually be being applied by the farmer. But um, it also occurs naturally in soils and is derived from the organic matter that decomposes. And that organic matter will turn into nitrate in soils that are freely draining and have got a fair amount of oxygen in there, and that's a bacterial process. Now the big problem with nitrate is that it's very, very soluble, and it will actually wash through soils very rapidly in wet conditions. Also, nitrate is the raw material that can be turned by soil bacteria into nitrous oxide, which is a powerful greenhouse gas. So what we really want with our nitrate is for it to be locked away as quickly as possible. And the only real way to lock away nitrate in the soil is to get it taken up by plants. If it isn't taken up by the plants, the nitrate will get washed down into the groundwater or into the water courses, and it can even end up in drinking water supplies and cause problems with water quality. Here comes the rain, and that's going to start trickling down onto the surface, and initially that will infiltrate down into the soil. But as the soil becomes saturated, that rainwater is going to start running off the surface. And in some soils that can happen, especially if they're compacted or if they're naturally poorly draining soils. You can see that the water is quite cloudy and brown. And that's because of the sediment that's coming out of the, the soil. But furthermore, it's not just the sediment that's leaving the soil, it's also nutrients as well. And we also need to think that from the runoff here, we're losing the topsoil that's washing away. So this is actually the best and most productive soil on the farm that's leaving and getting washed down, down into our drains and into our rivers. So having collected the runoff, we're now going to collect the water that's gone through the soil, and this will be mimicking what's coming out of the field drains. So if we open up the cap, we should be able to get some of the water that has come through the soil. So this is very much muddier. So now it's the turn of our permanent pasture. The rain is going to start falling. I'll wait to collect the runoff as it comes off. So we have our three runoff samples now from the three different fields that we've tested. So this has come off the surface, this is what's washing away from the surface of the field. And here we have our bare soil, which as you can see, pretty cloudy. And our crop, which really isn't very much different. But we also have our permanent pasture soil, our grassland soil, and you can see how much clearer that is than the other two. And here we've got our samples from the through flow. And this is from the bare soil, you can see it's pretty murky as is the sample from the arable soil. But with the grassland soil, even if we shake it up, we've still got a slightly clearer colour. So what's coming out of the field drains there is very much less full of sediment from the grassland soil than it is from the arable or from the bare soil. 
As the arable crop grows, it will help to secure the soil more, but at this early stage where we've only got wheat seedlings in that soil, it's not behaving very differently from the arable soil. So how much nitrate are we losing? Well first let's look at the runoff samples. I'm just going to take one of these nitrate testing strips, dip it into our runoff sample from the grassland first for five seconds, and take it out, give it a shake, and wait for a minute and a half. These nitrate testing strips come up with a colour chart on the side which you can use to work out how much nitrogen, how much nit nitrate is in the water. So we're seeing much more nitrate being lost in the runoff from the arable and the bare soil than we are from the grassland. So now I'm going to do the same thing and use these nitrate testing strips to test the water that's come through the soil, so the water that's coming out of your field drains. So once again we can compare the results on the test strips to the colour chart. Now this is important because the legal limit for nitrate in drinking water is 50 milligrams per litre. So anything coming out of those field drains going into our water supplies will need to be cleaned out before we can drink it.